Hello, in ship handling lesson 4, we covered ship handling situations to berth port side alongside in various conditions. In this lesson, I will cover coming starboard side alongside and also unberthing situations. So, let's get started. So, starboard side alongside, no wind and no current. So, this is a simple situation and it does not carry any significant risk. So initially you can go through your six standard operational procedures for berthing first. Now this situation is different from coming port side alongside in a way that you cannot use transverse thrust to kick the stern in when running astern on your engines. Therefore bringing your stern in from a wide angle can become difficult. So the steps here are step number one you approach parallel to the berth controlling your speed to bare minimum. If you remember for port side alongside we approached at an angle. So here I am saying you approach parallel. Step two when bow is halfway of the berth you can use a stern propulsion. The transverse thrust will cant the bow to starboard and the vessel's bow will be closer to the berth. Step three you pass a double forward spring and then step four with equal weight on the forward spring put helm to port and engine dead slow ahead to get the stern close to the berth and step five pass aft spring stop the engine and heave the ship in with fore and aft springs and step six make fast as required starboard side alongside with tide from ahead so this situation will require the use of the tide to push the ship towards the jetty so initially go through your six standard operational procedures for berthing first and then step one i will stem the tide and approach the berth using engines ahead to maintain the position step two I will apply starboard helm to cause the bow to cant towards the berth. Step 3. I will then steady the ship's head and maintain a balance between the tide pushing me down and engine pushing ahead. The vessel could expect to move bodily towards the berth. Step 4. When just off the berth, I will bring the vessel ahead to tide. Step 5. I will send away a headline and an aft spring and heave on both to bring the ship alongside. Once alongside, you stop the engine and make fast with headlines, stern lines and springs. Okay, let us look at some unberthing situations now. And the first one is unberthing starboard side alongside with offshore wind. So you go through your six standard operational procedures for unberthing first. So after that, step one, I will single up to headline and stern line. Step two, ease the head and stern lines to allow the vessel to be blown off the key. Step 3. When the stern is clear of the key, hold on to the aft line and allow the bow to come off the key a little bit more. And step 4. Once clear of the key side, let go bow and stern lines and engage engines and helm and away you go. Unberthing starboard side alongside with tight astern. So first of all, go through your six standard operational procedures. After that, step one, I will single up to a double forward spring and a stern line. Step two, ease stern line to tension the spring. The ship will pivot on the spring and the stern will come off the key. Step three, once the stern is clear of the key, I'll put engines astern and let go forward. Step 4. I'll then stop engines and let go aft. 
and step five, I'll then put rudder midships full astern to get the ship clear of the jetty. Unberthing port side two with tide ahead and no wind. The trick here is to clear the berth by allowing the wedge of water to flow between the dock wall and the ship's side, so forcing the vessel off the berth. So initially, go through your six standard operational procedures. And then step one, I will single up to a headline and an aft spring. Step two, I will initially keep the aft spring line tight and slacken the headline. Step three, the tidal stream effect would pivot the vessel about the spring and cause the bow to move off the berth. The weight of the water moving between the berth and the ship's side pushes the stern a little away from the dock. Step four, I will give half a head on engines and let go forward. Step five, I'll stop engines and let go aft. Step six, once clear, I'll put engines ahead to clear the berth into the tidal stream. Unberthing port side two, tide astern, no wind. The trick here is to clear the berth by allowing a wedge of water to flow between the dock wall and the ship's side, so forcing the vessel off the berth. So go through your six standard operational procedures first, and then step one, I will single up to a headline and forward spring. Step two, I will heave on to the headline to tension the spring and place engines at dead slow ahead. The stern will turn outwards away from the berth. Step three, once the stern is angled away from the berth, I will let go the headline and forward spring. Step four, as the lines are cleared, I will place the rudder midships and the engines half or full astern. Such action should cause the transverse thrust effect to turn the vessel parallel to the berth. And step five, once the alignment is suitable, I'll put engines ahead to leave the jetty.